what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is marcos and today we have a new phone right here in front of us it's called the new lg stylo 6 it's a new phone that just launched right now the last week of may uh today is may 29th i was able to get my hands on it finally it took forever uh but the, the new lg stylo 6 is replacing the stylo 5 um it, it looks like a great device and uh here in front of the box we see some of the specs pretty much it's a 6.8 full hd 1080p display so really nice picture you should have a really nice picture it has three cameras a 13 megapixel camera a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 5 megapixel depth camera so really nice back cameras for taking pictures it also has a 13 megapixel camera for the front so if you like taking selfies uh better camera for the selfies it also has 64 gigs of RAM, uh, memory or rom uh, and three gigs of ram so faster processor and uh, more memory and a built-in 4000 milliamp battery and uh it does include a fast charger so if you use the lg charger uh it'll charge faster and stuff like that so really nice device lg stylo 6 let's uh take a minute and unbox it here we have the inner box. It also tells us that you can get an SD card for up to two terabytes, which is really cool. I don't even know if they make those yet, but inside the box, pretty much we get the phone. We get the, the fast charger, which is this one. This is a type C charger, uh, which it's kind of like the new standard. All the new phones are coming out with this. Um, so Stylo 6, let's get it out of the box. Take a look at this phone. It's a huge phone, 6.8 inches display this the resolution is 1080p by 2460 pixels so this does run run android 10 um wow they made a huge phone this is a huge phone um three cameras in the back uh that's the fingerprint sensor for locking and unlocking your phone look like that's a mic hole um on the right side we have the power button on the left side we have the volume rocker um this is probably like the google button for the google assist and then right here we have the sim card slot so you can add extra memory card through the sim card slot uh, on the bottom we still have the the headphone jack the type c charger uh these look like to be like speakers and then right there on the right side we have the stylus pen built in on the phone but this phone is massive so three cameras fingerprint lock 13 megapixel camera on the front which really cool wow massive phone i mean it's a huge phone i mean i'm just scared that you might break it so it even looks bigger than a note phone i don't know i wonder how what's the difference in uh in size but it's a really nice phone so gestures now at the bottom what they did they took away the home button the back button and the multitask button um this one's a little weird i'm not able to pull up like the, the app tray but i think lg usually keeps everything in the, in the on the on the sides so um if you don't like that you could always go to your settings and um let's see if we can uh get it back so you would go to display and you would go to navigation bar so if you don't like the gestures built in on the new android version you can go to buttons and then your buttons will come out down here so i think more more people are familiar with it but uh they're trying something else something new with with the new google so pretty much what it does you can actually go back you can this is your home button instead of like swiping left to go back and stuff like that so um so that's a way to turn on your your buttons at the bottom which is uh a good feature to have so that you're not stuck with that also about the stylus so the stylus is down here let's uh see if we can pull it out with one hand so it clicks in which is pretty cool so press on it and it'll click out and then let's see we can pull this out with one hand can we yeah we can so there's the stylus and as soon as you pull out the stylus and drop it like i did um you'll get all these feature features so pretty much you can write a screen memo you can swift text you can use it for your texting you can draw something you can create a gif or gif capture or new memos which is cool cool features that come in with the stylus um so another feature that like other phones don't have or L some lgs have similar features but this one has a stylus built in that you can pull out and use so let's see what can we do so a new memo we will click on it and let's say you want like a 
Uh, all these terms and conditions. So new memo, you can draw, you can do whatever you want and save it as a note. So stylus pen, there we go. Overall, the stylus six on the left looks like a well-made device. I was able to post, uh, take some pictures on the camera. The camera looks pretty good. Um, I'll put them at the end. And on the right side, we do have the LG K51. So bigger screen on the left on the, on the Stylo 6, 6.8 full, full HD display compared to the uh, K51 that's um, 6.5 inch, uh, I believe it's 720 uh, display. So overall, here's uh, the two phones. And then um, the, the K51 has a, like a bluish, bluish color and then the, um, Stylo 6 has a, like, a, it's called a hologram white, and the K51, the bluish color is called a Titan color, Titan, Titan blue, Titan, Titan color. So, really good devices. Um, just wanted to do a quick unboxing, take some pictures, and compare. I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel as we do a couple unboxings of certain devices and items and stuff like that. So um, thanks for your support. Like this video, comment below if you got it, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.